I work at the Rocket Propulsion Division, uh, specifically supporting the Rotating Detonation Rocket Engine Program, or RDRE for short. I conduct a variety of tests with that program, um, primarily testing experimental prototype designs. The RDRE is just a new type of rocket engine, right? So we use rocket engines to blast things from the launch pad all the way up into outer space. The RDRE uses a new way of burning the fuel. So conventional rocket engines deflagrate the fuel, um, which is just a different way of burning it. We want to detonate the fuel. So think um, rapid release of heat and pressure and capture that in order to launch something up into outer space. Everything that the Air Force uses nowadays is powered by deflagration. Um, so slow, predictable burning. What we do, is we use detonation. So that changes everything about the engine from how we burn the propellant to the actual shape of the engine. So we use something, it's shaped uh, like an annular chamber, so like a circle, except it has a plug in the center of it. Um, normal engines don't run that way. Uh, and we also detonate the fuel, right? An entirely different process for how we burn the fuel. Detonation-based cycles are more thermally efficient than a deflagration-based cycle, which we use for conventional rocket engines. That means if you take a given amount of fuel, we're able to extract more energy from that, um, and this ultimately means that we can save weight on fuel. We actually did a really interesting case study uh, just this last year, so looking at a small launch vehicle, take the engine on there, a current deflagration-based engine, replace that with an RDRE, and because of our ability to use less fuel to get into space, we can increase the size of the payload um, by about twice. So double the size of the payload and still get it into the same orbit. Today we're testing a pretty generic RDRE with the goal of getting some what we call canonical data, um, baseline data that we can compare to our computer simulations. Computer simulations are really powerful. They allow us to look into physics that we can't otherwise measure, but unless we know that our computer simulation matches reality, we can't trust the computer simulation. And so the goal for today, get that data, compare it to the simulation, and make sure simulations are good. Yeah, the RDRE program runs about 700 hot fire tests per year, and we do that across several different prototype designs. Yeah, my only recommendation today is don't blink. Because this is a prototype engine that has no cooling on it, we're only gonna be testing for about one second. That's okay. We know with RDREs, they reach stable combustion within about a couple milliseconds, so the, the one second duration is pr plenty long. I will say, this is a, a live experimentation, so really anything could happen. If you see a pretty green flame, it means we're probably burning up our engine. Um, and if you see pieces flying, that means something else went wrong. But that's the fun of experimentation.